Hey kids, welcome to lesson 12, loops and simulations, number six. Changing the looping condition, streaks of heads. We want our simulation to run while the streaks of heads is less than the target length. In order to do this, we'll need to change our looping condition to use our variable we've been using to count our streaks of heads. To begin with, your simulation should look for a streak of three heads, so you can visually confirm the output. This seems like a pretty big hint right there. We have a do this, change the condition used by your while loop so that it now runs while the streak of heads is less than three. Test your program by running it and visually confirming that the output is correct. It should run like in the example below. Note, as before, it's possible that your output will sometimes run off the screen. You can still confirm your code is working as intended it should never run after a streak of three. And we will address this issue in the next exercise. We have an example here. It looks like it's counting until it gets to a count of three heads. And that might take a whole bunch or a little depending on it. This doesn't seem too bad today. Really all we're doing is one thing and that's changing our condition. We did this in our last lesson, so I'm pretty familiar with how this works. Let's go ahead and take a look at our code down here. In the last lesson, we changed our num heads to sim num to run less than 10 times. So the simulation ran 10 times. Now we want to change that back and we want it to be num heads. And we're looking for streaks less than three. So while the streaks of heads is less than three, so if it counts one, two, three, on the fourth, it should stop. Well, how do we want to do that? Well, as long as num's heads is less than three, I want it to keep running. And what's it going to do? Well, from the last lesson, if we flip a one, which is heads, it's going to add to our variable num heads. If it rolls a tells, it's going to reset num heads to zero. So this might take three times or 300 times, depending on our luck. I think that's all we really had to do. Let's test our program out and see what happens. Run. So it says head streak zero. We have one, zero, zero, zero. And then down here, we got streak one, two, three. And then it stops on the ninth one. So on the fourth one, it stopped. Let's reset run. Ooh, goes off the screen, but we don't have any above three, which is good. Zero, one, two, three, look at that luck, four. Nice even round numbers all around. I like this roll, this is a good one to end on here. Looks like our code is working exactly like it should. Looking back up at our do this, all they really wanted us to do was change the condition of our while loop so it runs while the streak of heads is less than three. We came down here and changed our condition in our while loop to num heads less than three. And this ran as long as the variable num head was less than three. Pretty fun. I think that's all code.org wanted from us. Let's see if they want anything else. No. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.